Hey guys, um, I'm back. I, I've realized that I didn't really do a very good introduction, like, back to my channel, so I thought I'd do that. Um, I'm doing book videos now, um, if you didn't know that. Uh, I'm just gonna reintroduce myself. S act like I'm starting a new channel that I've never been on a part of YouTube before. I'm gonna act like that <laughs> with this intro, just so you know. So, my name is Andra. If you don't know, that's not my full name, but you can just call me Zandra. Um, because it's easier, and I know my full name is Polish, and people cannot pronounce it right. So I'm just gonna say Zandra. That's it's a, that's a portion of my name. So that's all you need to know. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, I love books. I love everything about literature. I love reading books. I read books every day, like a lot of people. But here's a book that I'm currently reading. Restart. Interesting book. Um. Anyway. I love reading. I love everything that has to do with literature. I like writing books myself. Um, I might not be the best at it. I'm not saying I'm good. <laughs> but I am saying I do like to do it. Um, I don't know. I like the history of certain books. How books came to be. How authors came to be authors. How authors got inspired. I love watching interviews of authors. Some of my favorite authors like Stephen King. I watch a bunch of his interviews. I just think he's a very fascinating person. Um, I should really watch some more like author interviews i watch one with luann rice i need to watch more luann luann rice interviews anyway um yeah okay sorry um anyway i got my hair cut i hope you guys like it i like it i like it short i don't know i like my hair short that's the truth um, but anyway, yeah. Oh, right. I'm starting a book series called Five, Five Fridays. And basically, it's going to be every other Friday or every other other <laughs> Friday. Um, but yeah, pretty much every other Friday, I'm going to be doing a review of a book that you guys recommend. So, I don't know when people are going to start recommending books. But I want you guys to recommend me five or more books that either you think I would personally enjoy based off of my taste, which I'm going to get into some of my favorite books I've read so far. Um, and Or I would like you guys to recommend five or more of your favorite books that you have personally read. I would love to see that. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, also, I want to, like, at the start of every video, or, like, sort of the beginning of every video share what I'm currently reading because I think that would be really cool so I'm actually currently reading two books I tried so hard to be like oh I'm not gonna read more than one book at once anymore because honestly people were kind of making fun of me for it which I know you probably shouldn't do stuff just because people were being mean to you but I did I s but I couldn't help myself but read more than one book because I got excited anyway I'm reading Restar by Gordon Corman um I'm this is I don't usually read books like this um, but I'm actually reading this for my book club. I'm in a book club, uh, on Zoom. And so, this is, um, this month's book. We actually have two books every month. Um, no we don't. Wait. No, yeah, we only have one book every month. And so, this is this month's book. Restart by Gordon Corman. I did not pick this. But, um... It's, it's a good book so far. It's very, it's very middle grade, but it's still good. Um, and then I'm also reading uh, something that's a little more my pace. Later by Stephen King. This just came out about three, four days ago, I believe. Um, it's really good. <laughs> I'm only, I've only read one chapter so far. It's definitely not horror. This was in the horror section at Barnes & Noble, but this was definitely not this is definitely not a horror. Now, Stephen King might be a suspense writer, or some would consider him horror, but this is not a horror book. I refuse to call it a horror book. It, it's so far, at least it's not. Maybe it turns in, like, maybe later down the line it becomes more of a horror book, but this is more like, from what I can tell from, like, the summary and what people are saying, this seems like more of, like, a crime thriller, but maybe that's just me. Anyway, but yeah, these are the two books I'm currently reading. I'm a lot further into this one than I am to this one, but I'm still really excited to finish these, and especially this one I'm really excited about, and I'm excited to finish this one. Anyway, now I'm going to share my, uh, no, I'm going to share books that I read and liked 
so you guys can kind of get the idea of what kind of books I like uh, in case you want to base your recommendations for me off of what I've read and liked. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> so the first book um, I'm gonna talk about is... Oh, I actually just bought my own copy of it. Um, let me get it. I'll be right back. I forgot to get the book. Gosh dang it. So, oh goodness. Oh, I don't know what the angle is like this now. Okay, there we go. Misery by Stephen King. This is one of my favorite books I've read. Ever. I gave it four stars. Um... There's only one reason why it's just, I didn't like the book inside of the book part, but besides that, I really enjoyed this book. I'm not gonna go into a full review. I'm not gonna go into full review mode for this book. I actually kind of want to do a review video on this, even though this book's old. Okay, this book is from like 1987, I believe. Published in 1987, I believe, first published. Um, and so this book is definitely old. Um, anything 25 years or older, I think, is old. Because it's vintage, you know? So, like, anything 1996 or older is old to me. So, even though there's books that are, like, over a thousand years old and, like, a hundred years old, but you know what? That's just me. Anyway, Misery by Stephen King. I loved this book. It's so good. Um, I actually just got my own copy of it today um, from the bookstore, because the local used bookstore, by the way, for really cheap. Four dollars. Pretty good deal. Um, really good condition, too. And my dad actually let me borrow his copy of this and he just called me into his office one day and was like you need to read this it's so good you would love Stephen King's writing and you would love the types of stories he tells and of course I already knew kind of who Stephen King was like I've heard about him obviously I mean he's really famous even before I really started reading books for fun um I knew who he was because he's just that famous you know but I didn't realize he was this good. I honestly thought he was overrated because it seemed like, like, how could an author really be this good? Which is kind of ridiculous, honestly, to think. I don't know why I thought that. Like, okay, that's kind of weird. But this is such a good book. I love it so much. It's so good. Like, ugh, chef's kiss. I'll say that much. I love this book. And, yeah, I'm gonna... This is, I'm not being very descriptive at all, and I'm sorry. I'm being quite vague, actually. I'm probably annoying, honestly. But I might do a review of this. I don't know. It's kind of old. But it doesn't mean people don't want to watch reviews before they buy it. So maybe I will. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking so long to do things. Anyway, um, also, something about me is I like trashy books. Now... Obviously, this is not a trashy book, but every once in a while, between my very dark, twisted books, I like to put a little trashy teen, teen angst in there, um, where the writing isn't... There's a difference between trash books and trashy books. I like trashy books, but I also like serious books that are good. Um, not all very serious book is good, by the way. I'm not saying that. Definitely not true. But... Let me just grab it right here. I do love The Vampire Diaries by L.J. Smith. It's one of my guilty pleasures. This is one of the, those books. This is a, this is an anthology, by the way. This is a, the first two books. But, um, it smells so good. Okay, sorry. Um, this is one of those books, like, you read it. You never want to tell anyone that you read it. You never talk to your friends about how much you actually liked it. Uh, and this is one of those books you put at the back of your bookshelf so no one can see it and ask you about it and you don't want to explain it and tell people how much you love it because it's kind of embarrassing because people will probably laugh at you. This is one of those books, but it's just so entertaining. Like all the, almost every single character is so petty and rude, but it's such, it's so good. Like the writing is not the greatest, um, not descriptive, descriptive at all, all the characters are petty and rude and mean and you don't like them okay i can see why some people like stefan but i don't really i don't know why everyone wants to be with the brooding guy i i don't understand why people just always have to like the brooding guys like that's kind of i don't know i just don't like that 
but I loved this book, okay? It was so trashy, and I loved the trash. Not gonna lie, I loved the trash. I did. I really did. And you know what? I'm trying not to be embarrassed about it. I'm trying not to, but it's hard not to be embarrassed. I've only read The Awakening. I have yet to read The Struggle, <sighs> but I, I did like the trashiness of this book. I'm not gonna lie. I really did. So, trashy teen angst, apparently, is also my thing. Along with horror and suspense, you know, that's my thing. Anyway, similar to the Vampire Diaries, I also really like Christopher Pike's series, The Last Vampire, slash Thirst, depends on who you ask what the series name is. Um, but I read, this is also an anthology of the first, this is an anthology of the first three books in the series, um, which, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I almost messed up my book there which is The Last Vampire, Black Blood, and Red Dice are the first three books in the series. I read all three. They're really good. Oh, I just realized I'm talking way too fast. I'm so sorry, guys. I really don't. I'm sorry. But anyway, really good anthology. Really good books. It's, again, quite trashy. This is quite a trashy vampire teen series from the mid to late 90s. <clears throat> early to mid hmm. This is like a trashy teen angst vampire series by Christopher Pike from like the mid 90s. So, mid to late 90s, maybe to early 2000s. I'm not quite sure how long this series went on for, but I do have all the anthologies for this series. So, there's that. I also, I don't have it with me right now, but I really, really love Anne Frank, The Diary of a Young Girl. Um, and I do have a weird obsession with books about the Holocaust and World War II. I don't know why, it's just kind of a thing. Um, maybe it's my, me being genetically Jewish. <laughs> oh no, that's so bad. But, um, maybe it's that. Maybe, because I do have quite an interest in my heritage, you know, and, I mean, I don't know, it's, I, I just think it's kind of cool. That my like great grandpa was from like Poland, you know what I mean, and like yeah, was also Jewish, which is apparently not that rare. But like, I just think that's cool, and I want to know more about it, even through fiction. That's kind of odd, but I, I don't know. It's just fun to read about. It's sad. Probably shouldn't even say that. I'm sorry. I, I actually am sorry. But um, <clears throat> anyway. This is a middle grade that I kind of liked. Stepping on a Crack by Mary Downingham. Or Downing Han. I think it's Han, apparently. Apparently, I've been saying it wrong. I thought it was Han, but apparently it's Han. Or Han. Did I literally just say it the same way? Being like, or this. <laughs> but anyway, I actually kind of like this. Apparently, she actually reads, like, she does, like, spooky middle grade. And this is actually a rare occasion of, uh, historical fiction. But... Really enjoyed that. Oh, I also quite liked Red Wall by Brian Jacuse, which was a book from my book club, and I actually quite enjoyed this one. Um, it can get a little violent at times. Quite violent for a middle grade. This is the most violent middle grade book I've ever read. So far, at least. Um, I also really like the Percy Jackson series, as well as Mechanica. That was fun. Harry Potter. I read the first two books in the series. Um, I don't really support J.K. Rowling. Rally is it Rowling or is it Rowling? It's Rowling. Yeah, but I've got those at a um a yard sale, so don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> um. Anyway, so yeah, if you guys wanna recommend me, I love vampires and I love horror. Those are my top two like things in my books that i absolutely adore is vampires and horror books um oh sorry i almost totally forgot one of my absolute favorite books is pretend she's here by anne rice no by not by anne rice sorry pretend she's here by luann rice not anne rice luann rice there you go i love that book it's about a girl I don't have it with me right now, but it's basically, it's about a girl whose, um, friend died a year ago, and then she gets kidnapped. 
that's all I'm gonna say. It's about a girl who gets kidnapped. It's so good. It's one of my favorite books. I love it. It's such a fun little young adult kidnapping story. And I don't really like the ending of it. That's why I gave it four stars on Goodreads. But it's it was a really good book. The ending's terrible. But <laughs> I did like that book. Um, anyway, sorry I rambled so much in this video. Sorry for the unnecessary rambling. Um, and sorry if I talk too fast. And maybe my voice was a little too high. I just got, I'm, I'm just really excited. So please recommend me books to read because I will try to read them. Um, so yeah, tell me your book recommendations, anything. Like if you can't seem to find a book that you think I'd like based off of what I've shown you guys that I like, just tell me your favorite books that you've read. And if I haven't read them already, or if I already own them, I'll read them. So yeah, anyway. Bye, guys. Please give me book recommendations. I'm begging you. Okay, <laughs> bye. Should I have, like, a special show? Nah. Bye. <laughs>